Welcome to this channel. So since our Wing Chun friends asked me to share what did I share in my Chinese Wing Chun YouTube, which I released yesterday, now I am sharing with you with the same information what I share in Chinese. And what I share in Chinese is the proper root of Wing Chun Kuen, the proper root within Wing Chun Kuen. So why do I have to share that proper root of Wing Chun Kuen? Well, because last week, I have heard that there is a famous book from an authority in martial arts writing about Wing Chun. And according to some friends saying that, this is in the website, that Wing Chuner should read this book because this book can give Wing Chuner a lot of insight. So I get the book. And after I get the book, I read it. Guess what? Oh my God, inside there is all kinds of picking on Wing Chun. No solution. It just keeping picking on Wing Chun. This guy not doing right. That guy not doing right. And in fact, even picking at Grandmaster Yit Man. Okay? And obviously, this guy have no idea what is the history of Wing Chun. But he just have his authority and he just write whatever and put into the books. Okay? Now, so after that, I wrote an article to rectify the situations. I didn't blame the writer who wrote that. I, didn't, I did not blame our Wing Chuners. I didn't, did not I did not blame anybody because, face it, in past 100 years, or okay, 160 years, China is in a chaotic situation. It is really tough living there. And as we know that, a lot of Chinese even have difficulties to get food on the table. That's history. And of course, you know, Wing Chun is human too. They have to go through poverty. They have to uh, survive, make a living. And of course, they don't have all the time like me here today sitting in Silicon Valley, have all what I need, and then I can research deep, deep into the history. So we cannot blame those people who make mistakes. So my article is, let's move on. The truth is like this, not blaming the author of that book and also not blaming our Wing Chuners, uh, uh, uh people who do not present thing or distorted thing because we cannot blame people. The society, the world is like that. The, the, the condition in China is like that. Now, after I wrote that article, guess what? People start to attack me in Asia Forum. And this is one of the attacks. This attack saying that you Wing Chuners don't even know what is the precise years of uh, Yip Man was born. How dare you speak of Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty? Because in the article I tried to rectify, I present the evidence of Qi Ji Guang and Shaolin Sword Strike. So here it said, how dare are you using the Qing and the Ming Dynasty informations? And then here it said, no wonder Wing Chun uh, practitioners are scam artists. Well, guess what? This is not proper, right? This is step on all Wing Chuners, step on Grandmaster Yit Man. When you're saying that uh, people couldn't even uh, get it straight on the uh, birth, day, uh, birth year, 
of uh, uh, Yip Man, that means you just blaming the Yip Man student or Yip Man, Grandmaster Yip Man do not know how to teach properly. Well, this is unacceptable, okay? Put down Grandmaster Yip Man, step on Wing Chun Kin, and calling Wing Chuners a uh, scam artist. So, I make this video. Why? I am rectifying or I am showing the, the truth of everything by evidence. So, there are all these people in Asia who have clueless on what is going on, know when to shut up, okay? They are not even Wing Chuners, okay? Now, before I share with you, I like to clarify my position. I share this based on I am researching into uh, Chinese history. And all what I'm sharing here is history. It's not my opinion. Okay? So we want to be professional, like in university. Okay? We speak only with evidence. Okay? We don't make any claim. Everything is evidence-based. That's how our Western university way. The second is, I am not some kind of guru or grandmaster. I am the same with equal with all of us, hundred thousands of Wing Chun or millions of Wing Chun in the West, okay, or in the world. I am just one of the Wing Chun practitioner. No guru, no grandmaster, not those stuff, not even Sifu. This video is based on evidence. Like in university, you can take this to any university in the world and ask them to do research. Okay. So it's enough. Is enough. Okay. Enough is enough for this kind of nonsense. Now, for the Chinese, it's very very critical to to know one's family trees and protect one family trees. Okay. So this is what this page for. Chinese is very specific in their bloodline of family trees. So we Wing Chuners, because Wing Chun Queen is a Chinese martial arts, we follow the same thing. We love our family tree. We love our root. We protect our root. Okay, that's why I am sharing this today. Not get this kind of nonsense, okay? If you don't know about our family, shut up, okay? Now, the first thing is that we need to know the identity of Wing Chun Kun. So, Wing Chun Kun have to have an identity. It's not today somebody say Wing Chun is Wang Chun. Tomorrow, uh, somebody say Wing Chun is White Crane Wang Chun. And everybody have their all five cents, okay? But what is the identity of Wing Chun? Because everybody deserves to know. Everybody needs to have an identity. We are not some kind of bastard like people thinking we today. Okay? So, if we want to know our identity, we need to go into the history. And to go into the history, we need to go to Fine Jade Associations of the Red Boat Opera. Okay, Fine Jet Associations is the headquarter of Red Boat Opera. And also Mr. Li Man Mao, who is one of the actor in the Fine Jet Opera. Okay? We need to start from there. So 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 what is this uh Fine Jet Opera? Uh Fine Jet Associations. Well, Fine Jade Associations is located in Fatsan, Canton. It is the association for the opera, okay? And uh, Red Boat, Red Boat, Red Boat here, okay? Is the uh, boat where it is close to this, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the, 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 uh, fine jade associations so that uh, the actor can sitting on this traveling with the red boat 
to go uh, perform in uh, different places. Okay, so that's the red boat, and then this is the uh, fine jet associations. So that's how you relate that. So fine jet associations is the headquarter of this 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 uh, opera actors, and red boat is the ship or the the, the vehicles they use to travel to different places to 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 play to perform. Okay, now in the fine jet. Associations, there is a person, Li Man Mao. At 1854, Li Man Mao, he is responding to the Taiping revolution, start a revolution. And so Li Man Mao leading the actress, uh, sorry, the actor of the opera, leading the actor of the opera and uh, arranged them into three groups. Three groups, okay. Three type of tiger, uh, uh, tiger groups to fight the uh, Qing army. So this is a group of anti-Qing. Now, of course, the uh, Qing government don't like it. So the government start to uh, killing the actors, and then also they ban the Cantonese opera. In Canton, and of course they banned the uh, the the, the fine jade association, and that is the around the years of eighteen fifty four. Now we need to be careful. Fine jade is banned at eighteen fifty four, and there's another opera uh, associations, which is the Ba He Opera. Those are start like uh, 1870, okay. Those are not the uh, that that uh, that that uh, associations is not this one, okay. That association is uh, uh, is uh, 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 permit by the Qing government, and this one is the anti Qing uh, headquarter, okay. That's fine jade. Now. So we know about Fine Jade, we know about Red Boat, we know about Li Man Mao, and we look, know about that uh, Li Man Mao lead the opera actors to uh, against the Qing government okay, in the Taiping Revolution time. Now, this is one data point. We want more data point to see what happened at that time. So sure enough, we can find another person who is also doing the anti-Qing at that time, 1850s anti-Qing. And who is he? He is Jiang Hongsheng, Mr. Jiang Hongsheng. So who is Jiang Hongsheng? Jiang Hongsheng is the founder of Hongsheng Gun Choi Lei Fat. Okay? So at... Uh, 1851, Grandmaster Jiang Hongsheng of Hongsheng Choi Lei Fat with uh, Li Man Mao, which is from the Fine Jade uh, uh, Headquarter, Opera Headquarter, Mr. Li Man Mao, and other martial art groups, they support or they uh, start the anti Qing. So this is in the history. So we know Li Man Mao. We know at that time the, sub, uh, the, 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 the opera is actually brother to Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat in this uprising. So in other words, is the ancestor in the Red Boat Associations or the, the, the Fine Jade Associations and, and the Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat. They are brothers. Okay? for anti-Qing. Now, this is very important. Why? Because at that time, the salutations of a martial arts is their identity. The salutations of a martial arts is, the, is their identity. So, if we look into like Hong Seng Choi Lei Fat, they have their 
of the salutations and their movement of the salutations. And within that, it implicitly said that it is anti-Qing. Okay? Over here, it say Ying Xiong. Ying Xiong meaning hero. That is the code name of anti-Qing. This is Hong Xing Chai Le Fan. So now we look at the Wing Chun in the Fine Jade Associations, the Red Boat Opera Headquarter. Okay? The salutations, the poetry say that short finger, wing elbow present to the hero. Notice that this is hero, this is hero. So they are the same group of the people. We know that the Wing Chun ancestor here in the Fine Jade Associations is anti Qing, this hero, because this hero is within their, their, their poetry of that set. Now, so, so you might ask me, so Hendrik, how can you know that this is a uh, from the soap opera people and what is uh, what type of the uh, actor in the uh, the opera okay what what type of act, uh, actors in that uh, fine jade uh, associations okay so let's look at the chinese <coughs> the, the the opera the play okay now the gesture the the hand gesture is very crucial in the Chinese opera, okay? In the Chinese opera, this is what they call for Mo Sang, okay? This is the way. You see the hand, the palm is pushing forward. There's Mo Sang, okay? This type is Fa Min. So uh, this is the young uh, martial play type of uh, 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 hand gesture and posture. This is the Fa Min, okay? Uh, the guy who play mat like this, you see his face, okay? You see his palm? Palm is open, the, the fingers is uh, separate, okay? So this is Fa Min, like people say Fa Min Gam, Dai Fa Min Gam, okay? So if he is there playing the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Chinese opera, his gesture will be like that, okay? So if you say Wong Wa Po is Mo Sang, Mo Sang will, uh, the gesture will be like that. Okay, now. Now, for this play, the female role, okay, you see that this is the, 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 the uh, posture, the posture of the female role like that. This is a hand gesture, this hand gesture. And here he say that for female role, the hand gesture will be using fingers where this Fa Min, this type of uh, uh, character is uh, have a, a finger sp a spread, uh, a spreading, spreading finger. This is having the palm, okay, uh, like pushing. The female actor will be using finger. The female actor's hand here will be using fi uh, fingers to represent that they are from the, uh, they are acting the uh, female role character. Okay? Now, we take this, this female uh, 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 character or female role posture. We put it in here. Okay? And so this is the back view. Guess what? We turn to the front view and we add a finger. And this is the short finger. This is the salutations of Wing Chun 1850. The salutations of Wing Chun in the Fine Jade Association. That is short finger, wing elbow present to the hero. And you see this? By this, we know this posture is the posture of the actor who play the female role okay 
And so over here it says that sword finger, wing elbow or bong elbow present to the hero. Now hero we know that is the code name of anti Ching, like in our friend Chai Le Fat. And sword finger wing elbow we know that it is belongs to the role of the act uh, the, the playing the female the female role so so we know now we can confirm now that this salutation is actually anti ching and it is belongs to those who play female role in the fine jade associations well, we know that Wing Chun is the woman, a female art, right? Female art. That is what it is. So, what is the identity of the uh, uh, Wing Chun queen? Well, this is the identity. The salutation is the identity. It tells us it is the anti Ching and it is belongs to the actor who play the female roles group. Okay, this is how clear it is. And that's why Wing Chun is not from Tai Fa Ming Gam. If it is Tai Fa Ming Gam, the salutation will be like this way. Okay? The posture will be like this way, the finger uh, the finger will split apart. So it's not from Wong Wa Po, like people say the Mo Sang. Because if it's Mo Sang, the, the, the palm will be like this. The posture is like this. But now Wing Chun is belongs to the actor who play female roles. That's why we have this identity, this posture, this salutations. Okay? So this is how clear the Wing Chun's identity can be. It's, uh, in history, we know it is legit. It is, you can check on the Fine Jade Association you can uh, check on Li Man Mao and you can link, you know Li Man Mao with the Choi Lei Fat, Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat, Grandmaster Zheng Hong Sing. And you know that the Choi Lei Fat uh, salutations, point and the, 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 po, the, the, the gesture have this anti Ching. You know Wing Chun have the anti Ching uh, in the point, and then you know the gesture is belongs to the role the actor who, who play the female role okay so so not those or uh, wing chun is uh, wang chun uh, uh, wang chun is from tai fa ming gam what well, if it is from tai fa ming gam then it have to play this role okay this type of uh, 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 posture and this type of gesture that's how clear we have today okay so we know our identity we are anti ching and we belong to the group of the actor who played the female role, okay? Not all other stuff, uh, other story you heard for past uh, uh, 50 years or 60 years or 80 years or 100 years, okay? This is the black and white by record, by evidence in the history. Now, let's look into the, uh, the root of the Wing Chun Queen martial arts the root of it. Okay, you need to know the root. Now, we know that in the Fine Jade Association's uh, era, the anti Ching era, we have the uh, Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao writing. Okay? And this writing is destroyed in the Cultural Revolution in China for the China part. However, a copy of this Xiu Lim Tao writing of the Fine Jade Association's era, before, prior to the China China's uh, Chinese Cultural Revolution, twenty years or so before, prior to the Cultural Revolution, has been copied fully and sent to Malaysia. That's why today we can have this. Okay. So that's why I translate all. So every brother sister of Wing Chun in the world can access to these informations. Now, we have to be careful. When we read this, over here it said practice instruction. Uh, usually, uh, we, 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 we talk about this uh, 
hand issue from heart, okay, or fish issue from heart. Well, this is just a fragment. If you say hand issue from heart, it actually have one, two, three, four. One need to know the full thing, okay. And also, there's another part here. It's every stretch and every contract, okay. This another uh, four verses here, four point here, uh, poem here. This is the must no practice instruction. Now, if we have no idea, like we just get uh, the uh, the the feet, hand issue from heart today, everybody can go translate whatever they want, speculate whatever we want. Then we don't know what it is. However, the Chinese is like not like that. We know exactly what is this. The heart issue, uh, the the hand issue from heart. We know exactly what is the stretch and contract it is. Okay, now. So as in the Zen Buddhism is said, going directly straight to the heart, to the root, is how Buddha teach. Beating the bushes is not what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, for the fist or hand issue from heart, that is actually the characteristic of the short strike art of Wing Chun. That is the characteristics, and it can the the, the definitions and details can be fine. In the Shaolin Short Strike Canon, Shaolin Short Strike Canon, and over here, within the Shaolin Short Strike Canon, we can see that what is describing the uh, hand issue from heart. There is one writing here is talking about the strength. How uh, how you use your heart to handle the strength over here? You say that wherever your mind or your heart is, there is where the strength goes. The second one is describing how you should put your arm. Okay, this is saying that you need to closely guarding your. Your body guarding yourself with your arm close to your chest, both arm close to your chest. You need to uh, keep it tightly close to your chest, and only when you use it, you strike out. Once you strike out, you need to get it back to protect yourself. You don't want to put. Over here is saying that you don't want to put your arm out there. If you put your arm out there, then you will be stuck there and cannot change. Okay, so this is the second. The third one is actually how do you face your opponent? This is saying that you use your heart to face your opponent. You keeping changing angles. You keeping dodging. However, you always face him. With your heart, so face issue from heart is that. Now, if we don't know this Shaolin Short Strike Canon, no way we know what the heck is going on, because we don't know. We miss all this information, and thus we have no idea what is a short strike art. We can keeping making it up and define our own stuff, but the answer is we don't know. We are just guessing. Okay, so this is very important. We know this. Okay, now another thing is the contract and ex extend. That is another part of important thing. And sure, with the same Shaolin Short Strike Canon, you can find that out. You say that to handling your body is the critical, crucial uh, handling, because handling of your body is like uh, the general in your army. And it said here specifically on contracting and expanding, where this is the uh, in the uh, in the in the uh, Shaolin uh, sorry in the Wing Chun 
1850s writing, the quid, okay, the must know in for the practice. Now, <clears throat> over in the Shaolin short strike canon, okay, again, this is an example, it says that you need to contract and then extend to shoot in, get close. Over here, it says that you need to uh, extend, contract, and then also you need to guard, okay, guard and strike out. So, this two, this two practice instruction is describing the core of a short strike art, okay, where the hand must strike arm is telling you what I, sh I shared with you just now. And then there's every stretch and contract that is talking about handling of your body. Now, without this, there, there is no martial art. Forget about it. Okay, so you need this. That's why he said that the practice instruction. Here in Chinese, he said that you must know this practice instruction. Okay? Now, now if we don't have the Shaolin Short Strike Classic, how the world we know what the heck is going on? Everybody can sit down there, have their five cents opinion, but nobody know what actually happened and nobody will develop the skill. Okay? Now, we know that the Shaolin Short Strike Canon is being actually verified by the Chinese martial historic Tang Hao in the early 1900. And they know that, okay, the, the monk who started this uh, or teaching this uh, Shaolin Short Strike is uh, Xian Ji He Sang, okay, the monk, Buddhist monk Xian Ji. And Tang Hao found out that this Buddhist monk is actually related to the Henan Shaolin, Songshan Shaolin Temple, okay. So that is, that is what is uh, the truth in the history. People have found it out, okay. And we know that the uh, Shaolin Short Strike Canon is the proper, the authentic classic of Shaolin martial arts. Now, we know that. And also, we know that this is General Chi Ji Guang 1560s, the, uh, the, 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 the document, the classic for the Chinese martial arts. And you know that this part A, part B, it is used by the Shaolin short strike cannon. And also within this Chi Chi Guang cannon, <coughs> the 32 momentum Shaolin short strike classic is using that. Okay. So from here we know. What we got, Wing Chun, is a really solid art from Chi Ji Guang to Shaolin Short Strike to Wing Chun 1850. Okay? Well, people can argue, but whatever all talk is cheap. The issue is this. If one do not know this from the Shaolin Short Strike canon, one will not be able to make any sense out of this practice instruction. So you don't know the art. So anybody can deny and say that, oh, this is from the Shaolin, it's from this, it's from that, it's from White Crane, it's from... It's nonsense, why? If you don't know Shaolin, short strike canon, you will not be able to know what the heck is really going on into the detail and you cannot develop the art. What talk is cheap? When people who have no idea what is a Wing Chun, of course you say that a Wing Chun is from Wang Chun, Wing Chun is from White Crane, Wing Chun, all kind of thing. But show evidence. Show what it is. That's why Wing Chun have this. It is a very pure bloodline, directly from the, Shaoli, uh, the, the General Chi Ji Guang, Shaolin Short Strike, Wing Chun 1850, and that is a very direct and complete and pure bloodline. 
Okay. And we can question, question for those who critic Wing Chun, put down Wing Chun, like those who wrote whatever in front. What do they have? They can practice their art, their Kung Fu, but did their Kung Fu have as clean as us, Wing Chun? So now we don't. Where is the root of the, uh, the, the, uh, the Wing Chun? Martial arts. And we know all this is verified, a real deal. In the history of Chinese, okay? Now, speak of the name of Wing Chun. Why, why is it called Wing Chun? So, Chun Wing Chun is what? Some say that this is a praise, the springtime. Some say this is not Wing, uh, Wing Chun. This is supposed to be eternal spring. Some say that this is uh, 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 the, the white crane Wing Chun. So, what is that? What is the name of Wing Chun? Well, you want to know the the, the meaning of the name of the Wing Chun, it is not go to Fujian, Wing Chun County, where the white crane is. It's not going to Shaolin, like uh, the Shaolin Wing Chun, Shaolin in Hong Kong, you know, those things. It's going to Shanghai. Why Shanghai? So, because in Shanghai, this is the headquarter of the uprising. Remember, the uprising of Chai Le Fat, Wing Chun ancestor, and the uh, 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 the the Red Boat ancestor of Wing Chun in the uh, in the uh, in the Canton. This hall is called a uh, Select Spring Hall. Select Spring Hall, Tian Chun Tang, is the headquarter of the uprising in. Uh, Shanghai in the same period of time and actually it is uh, respond to the Taiping revolution. So what is this Chun mean in the, uh, in the uh, uh, select the Tian Chun Tang? Okay. So if we don't know, we we'll say oh, select spring uh, hall, select spring hall. Well, it is not actually. The, the, the select spring here is actually saying that selecting, selecting the opera or the actress, that's the meaning. Why? Because in front of this hall, that is an opera house, where people, an uh, opera hall, when people can play uh, the Chinese opera. So this is called the Chun Tang or select spring. Uh, uh, a hall, if we don't know about it, is because it is actually is selecting the opera, the, the opera play you like. Okay, the hall to select the uh, opera you like, okay, or the play you like hall. So we know that the, the Chinese Chun here, it doesn't mean the spring, like autumn and spring spring or the county of the uh, Fujian where white crane was it means opera now so Wing Chun is Wing is praised okay so Wing Chun Queen is actually the martial Queen is martial the martial of those who play opera the martial of those who play opera well, can you verify this? Sure. Why? Didn't the identity here saying that? Didn't the identity here saying, uh, saying the uh, short finger, bong elbow present to opera? This is belong to the opera house for those who play the role of female? Well, it converged. Okay? So, Wing Chun is the martial of the person who play, uh, who sing the opera, which is the opera actors. So Wing Chun is the martial art of the opera actors. That's simple. Okay? So Wing Chun is not Wang Chun because this Chun is not spring. This Chun means opera, play. Okay? So this is how clear it is. And then we can verify with the, the, the salutations of Wing Chun, which is the identity. 
So the name and identity is consistent. We know what is this. Okay? Now, so who create Wing Chun? Where Wing Chun is created? Well, it's simple. With the identity, the short finger wing elbow present to the hero. You know that whoever create that is the person who play the female role. And you know that because this short finger bone elbow or wing elbow present to the hero is the last the last verses of the Shulian Pao Kit of the uh, the Fine Jade Association. You know it's created in the Fine Jade Associations by someone who play the female role and who is an anti Qing. That is the Wing Chun ancestor. We don't know who the name, the exact name of this ancestor, but we do know we do know that Wing Chun is created in the Fine Jade Associations and is created by the a person who play the female role. That's how clean how clear it is, okay? Based on the identity and based on the history. And of course this person know the real traditional Chinese martial or else he cannot use this stuff to create the uh, or to create his Xiu Lim Tao and put this in front. Meaning that hey you need to know how you put your hand and then how uh, you handle your body before you want to start your Xiu Lim Tao. Okay? <clears throat> and here at the end he said Short finger, bong elbow, or wing elbow present to the hero. This is leaving us a signature. Okay? So this is how clean, how clear it is. Now, so, we know the, we know the, uh, the identity. We know the identity, okay, of Wing Chun. We know the root of uh, the uh, uh, Wing Chun martial arts. We know the name, what the name of uh, Wing Chun means. We know who create and when, where is created. Well, as in this signature in the concrete. Sword finger, bong elbow present to the hero. It means that this Wing Chun is created in the Fine Jade Associations by a uh, actor who play the female role and he joining the anti Qing. And you know that at this time, the anti Qing, the period of the time of the anti Qing of the Fine Jade. So so you know that. Okay. And over here you know that the uprising with a Li Man Mao and our uh, our uh, 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 Hong Sing Chai Le Fat friend. So we know very clearly, even though we don't know the exact year and exact room or exact name of our ancestor, but we know what it is. So so that is how it is. Okay, even though we don't know who exactly it is, but we know where he lived. We know what role he played. We know what type of era. This is the anti-Qing era he, when he created this. Okay? So we can actually look at this. So when is uh, Hong Sing Choi Le Fat was created? Because Hong Sing Choi Le Fat has using this Ying Hong. Ying Hong term. Wing Chun is using this Ying Hong term, right? So when is Choi Le Fat created? That will be the time period which we can refer to, we can look into if we want to know when Wing Chun could be created. Okay? So that's how clear it is. So let's, let, let's, uh, 
This is saying that we all Wing Chuners is from the same root. We like it or not, we're from Red Boat. We like it or not, we now know our identity, know the root of our martial arts. You, we know why the name is like that. Okay, We know who created our Wing Chun. We are all from the same root. So it is the time for us to union, to upgrade our art because we know a lot of information now. Okay? And uh, like people in, the, uh, in our ancestor, in the anti Ching, those people are really heavy, uh, uh, emphasize on martial virtue. Okay? Doing the proper thing for the people, for the country, for the community. Life and death for them is, uh, is uh, how do you say that? They're willing to sacrifice themselves. <coughs> what important is the virtue? Help the people, help the country, help the community. So we should follow them. Okay, that's our ancestor. Not talk about this, who is the authentic Wing Chun anymore. We know all of this today. We know all of this today. Every one of us know this now. Now, once you watch this YouTube, you know this. Once you uh, uh, watch this YouTube, you know this salutation. Once you watch this YouTube, you know who created the Wing Chun. And with this, well, everybody is authentic. Isn't it? Everybody is authentic. So, so only if we are... Uh, 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 united, work together, help each other, that other people cannot bully us. Because this is a bully. This is the bully. Great Master Yit Man have already passed so many decades. 1970s to today is almost 40 years. So why is still bring her up, him up today? Do you want me to bring, uh, to, to, to bring your, your, your grand, grandfathers who have passed away in their kids' name out and, 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 and put down your grandfather? Well, we don't do that. Wing Chuner, we don't do that. Why? Because we don't do those uncivilized stuff, uneducated stuff. Okay? We speak with evidence. We respect all elderly. Okay? So as a Wing Chuner, uh, one of this one, uh, a million Wing Chuners, I'm one of you guys, the same you guys, I urge everybody to union, to unite it, to study because we have all our identity and our material now. Let's work hard helping each other, respect each other, don't fight each other because if we fight each other, other people is going to step at us like in this thing, okay, and it's going to step as Wing Chun, Wing Chun's grandmaster, and our ancestor of Wing Chun, which is not proper at all. It's unacceptable, okay. <clears throat> so it is a time for all Wing Chuners to unite, help each other, okay, because now everybody is authentic. You guys all know who, who, who watches, all have the information, same information from the red boat and for the chinese uh, uh, uh wing chuner who can read who can read the saolim short strike and the uh, uh and the uh, uh, uh the, the the wing chun uh uh Lim tao classic and the chi chi guang writing then they can read that but for us who do not know chinese there's three books the reason these three books, this is from Chi Chi Guang, this is Wing Chun uh, of the, uh, the, the, the Wing Chun 1850. This three book is purposely to transfer all the technology to the West. Okay, So all English readers be able to know exactly what is going on when you want to go into this. Okay, That is the bottom line. As I always say, it's an education. Only education can make us strong. Fighting each other is going to make us weak and people take advantage of that. Okay, so this is what I share in the Chinese uh, uh, video on the Wing Chun. Like it or not, 
This is all based on evidence. This is based on historical evidence, trackable historical evidence. We don't step at anybody. I don't step at anybody. Okay? Not others' uh, lineage or not other styles, as you, you see my presentation here. However, we cannot accept people step on anybody in Wing Chun. I am not a, 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 a grand student of uh, or related to Grandmaster Yip Man, but I'm not going to see that people step on him. Sorry, because Wing Chun need to stand up for our Wing Chun elderly. That is bottom line. We don't say our elderly is perfect. Like nobody can say their father is uh, is 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 perfect. Okay, or the grandparent is perfect. However, well, when there is all sort of uh, 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 nonsense attacking and put down on our 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 grandfather or father, that's not acceptable. If you want to talk about one thing, one technical issue, you can take, you can even say that well, Hendrik, you are wrong in this technical issue. There's no problem because it's technical issue. However, if you just uh, go attack somebody where they don't even have the uh, 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 giving the chance to, 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 to explain to you. Like you attack a, a Grandmaster Yip Man there, you don't even give him the chance to explain. Okay? That is not proper. So this is to share with everybody, okay? Uh, I hope that every Wing Chun lineage have a, a, a talented and good people every generation because only that way Wing Chun will grow. So I really wish that and hope that every lineage have a really good people at every generation. Then Wing Chun continues on. Okay? So this is what uh, I'd like to share with you today in English.